Alrighty, welcome to a vintage cube draft. It's a three on three. I'm teaming up with uh, Mandrel Man and Eomatic. I'm going to go ahead and call us the Scrappy Underdogs, playing against Theo Jung, Luis Salvato, and the world champion, Nathan Stoyer. So, let's okay. You know, I'm in for an upset. What do we got here? Well, we got a Force of Negation, definitely a great card. We got Lion's Eye Diamond. It's, I think in this cube, it's pretty defensible to take an early Lion's Eye Diamond. This cube has a lot of combo stuff. And there's Zurin Orb, High Tide, Inspired Ultimatum. So there is some action here. I don't know what direction I want to go. If I take Force, Nathan probably takes a Braid. He could take Talisman. He could take Lion's Eye. We're going to swing for the fences. I'm going to take Lion's Eye Diamond first here. I think High Tide's almost a lock to wheel. Inspired Ultimatum is very likely to wheel. And then there is... Zern Orb as well, if we end up going that direction. Here, I'm going to take Oko, though. Oko is still incredibly good, even if you're in combo or not. Passing Prismatic Vista, Mizzix Mastery, which I, I really don't think Mizzix Mastery is going to wheel. But we'll see. What are, what's going to get taken after I take this Oko? Well, Grave Titan and Vista are pretty likely. There's Crater Hoof Behemoth. Gush. Temple Garden. Yeah, I'm going to take also Sahili. So there's a lot of potential stuff that can uh, that can that can wheel here. Yeah, I mean there's also through the breach. So yeah, I think through the breach, Grave Titan, Vista, maybe Viseju, maybe Temple Garden, maybe someone types Crater Hoof. In a six-player cube, every now and then there's not, you know, you'll end up where no one wants to take Crater Hoof, for example. All right. Well, this pack has a brain freeze, which is great with Lion's Eye Diamond. I'm just a breach away. They, never, they didn't even know I first picked Lion's Eye, as I always like to say. Passing up on Zagoth Triumph, Thalia, Recurring Nightmare, Preordain, and like Vindicate. Maybe I get back. I mean, no one usually wants Candelabra and there's Red Rituals, but yeah, I'm going to take the Brain Freeze here. So I could have gone Force of Negation, Oko, Preordain, I guess was what I would do. Honestly, after taking Force Negation Oko, I'd, I'd still be considering Brain Freeze. I just think Brain Freeze is really is really strong. This pack has Brainstorm and Gitaxian Probe, alongside like Creeping Tar Pit, Asika's Chariot. Uh, I think Probe is a little stronger than Brainstorm. They're both pretty good. If you have Shuffle Effects, Brainstorm can be really good. Probe is a zero mana spell, though, is strong. And getting to see the opponent's hand is really good. And that's probably the same pick I make if I take... Uh, the Force of Negation first. The one thing about passing Force of Negation is it's rough to play against it, but I think having these as a start is really good. I don't think that Salvato, who's passing me this pack in pack three, is likely to pass me, say, an Underworld Breach, but I think Nate might. Like, he doesn't know I took Lion's Eye and Brain Freeze. He doesn't have access to that information. So we might be in a spot where Nathan, maybe Mandrel Man, maybe even Theo, like, if they see a Breach in pack two... It's possible I get it. If you ever have a deck that has LED Brain Freeze Breach, the deck is very, very good, as you no doubt have seen me assemble. This pack has Daze, which is pretty nice. Taiga, which can be good. Way less interested in Blood Crypt than Taiga, given the fact that I have Oko and no black cards. I don't have a red card either way. It's also Wall of Roots, and there's Memory Jar. I think with Brain Freeze, I kind of want Memory Jar. Memory Jar is really strong at uh, decking them when you have Brain Freeze, just like any draw seven because, well, the Time Twister affects reshuffle, so that's not quite as easy. But both Wheel of Fortune and Memory Jar, they by themselves mill them for seven, right? So if you can go like Jar, LED, Probe, Brain Freeze, like to, to name all the cards I have, if, if I have a turn where I can cast these, then that's already, you know, 12 plus five, 19, 19 card, or 17 card, 19 cards rather. So I think I just take the Jar here. Okay, this pack has Counterspell, Faithless Looting, Mana Confluence. There's also Baleful Strix and Toxic Deluge, and there's Mystic Forge. Sam Rolf loves this card. I'm not really in a Mystic Forge state, but I think Counterspell looks really good here. And finally, I can I cannot pass a million Counterspells. All right, so a Braid Wield, so did Inspired Ultimatum, so did High Tide, so did Zernorb, Talisman, Relic. So a lot of the cards wield. So given what I have right now, what am I supposed to take? Zernorb is a lands com combo card. It's good with Fastborn Crucible type stuff I don't and Balance. I don't have that. I could take Inspired Ultimatum in case I wheel Mastery. 
but Mizzix Mastery that is. I don't have a good way to discard it yet, but maybe I get that Faithless looting back. There's also Talisman of Progress, which is a fine card. I'm going to take Inspired Ultimatum. Maybe I will Mizzix Mastery. Maybe not. It's also good with Dream Halls, which is a card I'm looking for. Okay, Mizzix Mastery did a wheel alongside Sahili, but because I took the Inspired Ultimatum, I want Mastery. Plus, Mizzix Mastery Brain Freeze is a pretty easy kill. If you have, let's say I had six mana, I go Probe, LED, Brain Freeze you for nine, play Mizzix Mastery, play Brain Freeze. So that's 12, 15, that's 24 cards total. So Slamming, Mastery, and well, Grave Titan and Crater Hoof are definitely going, and the lands. Well, you know what? Assuming Grave Titan and Crater Hoof and the lands get taken, which I think is a reasonable assumption, I'm going to get back either Tamiyo, Sahili, or Citadel. All of those have outs to, to make this combo deck. So let's see how, how this goes. Okay, so Zagoth Triome is still here, as well as Candelabra and two Rituals. I've got to take Zagoth Triome, though. I have Oko already. Plus one card's going to come back, there's a pretty good chance that people take, again, all these three fair cards and leave me either a Ritual or a Candelabra. Candelabra with High Tide would be nice. Wow, Brainstorm came back. All right, I'll pass the three green cards on the tar pit. Pretty easy Brainstorm. You have other outs too. Uh, brainstorm can help with Lion's Eye Diamond. Imagine you go Brainstorm, put two cards back, crack LED, or and... Uh, then use a, a card draw spell like a jar or something to set it up. Uh, I guess I'll take the Wall of Roots here. The only reason I wouldn't take Wall of Roots is if I wanted to take Dragonlord Atarka because I would draft Flash or Dream Halls. But Wall of Roots could actually make the cut more so than Llanowar Elves because it's a little bit more resilient here. All right. Also, LED can discard Ultimatum for Mastery. Oh, there's Torrential Gear Hulk. Oh, wait, I don't, I don't have Magma Opus yet. But Torrential Gear Hulk does cast these three spells. Is that better than Mana Confluence? I kind of hate Mana Confluence in general. I could also take Portal as a Tinker Target or Mystic Forge if I end up with Sensei's Top. I think I'm going to take the Gear Hulk because I'm already on the lookout for Magma Opus. Well, I'll take the Zern Orb here because it's not much else. No one took the Crater Hoof. All right, last pick Crater Hoof, whatever. I'll take the Citadel in case I get Tinker and then... That Pyretic Ritual is not 0% to make the cut. All right. I've been feeling like we deserve a Black Lotus. Anyone else feel that way? Anyone? Oh, there's Dream Halls. Okay. Okay. There's also a Troxa and Sneak Attack and Tinker. Oh, what do I do here? And Basalt Monolith and Hum Awakening. Plus, there's a Spell Seeker and a Hymn to give the other people, the, the fair gamers. And a Night's Whisper. Yeah, they take those. Okay. So I really want Dream Halls, but I think there's a pretty good chance I wheel Dream Halls. Now I have to decide, do I want Atroxa? Because if I wheel Dream Halls, Atroxa Dream Halls is a very strong combination. Or do I want Tinker? Because Tinkering out Jar and Citadel and maybe even Gear Hulk can be really good. The other thing is if I take Atroxa, I could wheel Sneak Attack. Though that's more like a backup plan because if Dream Halls wheels, I'll take that over Sneak. So here's where I'm at. I think Dream Halls is going to be great in my deck, whether or not I take Atroxa. So I think I'm better off taking Tinker here. I think Tinker is... I have a lot of... I have Oko to make treasure too. Yeah. Let's take the Tinker. Follow it up with a Wheel of Fortune. And if we get Dream Halls back, like it's possible someone just hates it or something. And that's fine. But we'll take the Wheel of Fortune here and... Over Glory Bringer, Witness. Yeah, this pack doesn't have a lot I want. Um, this pack has a Misha's Workshop, which doesn't look great right now. It also has Volcanic Island, which would be nice, but I might just have to take Talisman. It's kind of like a Volcanic Island, except it can be sacrificed to Tinker, which seems pretty important here. So, uh, this Bolus of Citadel's back in the big pile. Also, if I take Talisman, I think Volcanic, Loran, Brazen Borrower are going to go. Scrubland's going to go. Because if no one's drafting green, people, and no one's drafting combo, or at least not many, people are definitely drafting black. I might get Talisman of Conviction back as well. But I think Talisman of Creativity is going to be more important than Volcanic in this, in this particular build. Okay, so this has pack has Frantic Search and Time Warp. 
Uh, passing smugglers copters. Also, flooded strand, which is a white, blue, black, green fetch. If I took Volk, it would have been all the colors. But I mean, I, I think frantic search is the best card for me. But I'm kind of considering taking flooded strand. I guess no one's going to take the natural order. Copter and GTR locks to go. I think time warp gets taken over frantic search, and then city of traitors gets taken, and maybe Grim Lava Mancer, or someone moves into Natural Order, or a Reanimator player takes Scrapwork Mutt. But I think, I think getting Flooded Strand plus maybe one of these cards is good enough. Or I could take Frantic Search, and then Flooded Strand definitely doesn't wheel, and Time Warp probably still doesn't wheel. On the other hand, Frantic Search to discard. No, I gotta take the Frantic Search. Discarding for Mastery is too important. This pack has Spell Pierce, a red green land, which is good for Oko. We're not in the Kiki stage. Wish Claw, I don't love in these decks. Snapcaster Mage with Brainstorm Probe, Brain Freeze Counterspell is not bad. It's good with Frantic Search, or at least okay. And with Wheel, all right, I'm in for Snapcaster Mage. This pack has an Emery, but I think I just take Badlands here. Oh, or I just take Black Green Talisman. I don't think we're going to take Emery. Currently, I actually don't need to tap my mana for black mana. I mean, I, I guess I have a Bolus of Citadel. So I guess I would rather just take the Talisman over Badlands here. <sighs> Dream Halls didn't wheel. All right, well, I'm glad I didn't take a Troxa then. Um, now do I take Basalt, Monolith, Helm of Awakening, or Spellseeker? Spellseeker getting Brain Freeze is pretty nice. It can also get Cantrips. Oh, no one took the him either. Not Wheeling Dream Halls. I, I, again, I knew it was a possibility. It is a bummer, though. The question is, if I take Spellseeker, will I wheel one of these two artifacts? I kind of think so, especially Helm of Awakening. So let's take the Spellseeker here. Right now, Torrential Gearhook's looking kind of medium. I need Magma Opus for it to really pop off. And... Underworld Breach would, I think, be like the number one card I want. I really like Zurin Orb in a deck with Bolus of Citadel, though. If you tinker for Citadel and you hit Zurin Orb, it's like you get to play three more cards or something. Double Talisman, double Cantrip. I have a Counterspell, Frantic Search, Tinker, Wheel. Yeah, Dream Halls would be nice here, but it's not the end of the world that we didn't get it back. I'm really glad I didn't move it all in on a Troxa there. I think taking the Tinker worked out much better. This pack is, again, mediocre. I could take Sphinx of the Steel Wind, though. It's a pretty good Tinker target in the right matchup. And I'm passing a Glorybringer and a Lingering Souls and a bunch of other stuff that's totally fine. So I'm hiding Sphinx, Torrential Gear Hulk, and Wall of Roots for the moment. Currently, I've got two Talismans and a Triumph to fix my mana, but I'm mostly like blue-red. Okay, so Talisman Wield, so did Scrubland, so, and Concealing Curtains. Interesting. Am I at a point where I can take Misha's Workshop? I just don't think I'm going to be the Workshop deck. Mystic Forge is already gone. Let's just take another Talisman here. I think that's more along the lines of what I need to do. And hopefully we end up picking up... Okay, so Time Warp Wield and so did City of Traders. I, I think I'm more interested now... Now that I know I don't have Dream Halls... I think City of Traders is going to be better for me because it's good to untap with Frantic Search. I wish I got that last bit Candelabra. Someone has, I guess, Candelabra and High Tide, but and maybe Dream Halls. Maybe someone's doing that. But I think City of Traders with all these like talismans and memory jar and stuff. I think that's going to be better than Time Warp. Mm, now I think I'm going to hate Kiki Jiki. I don't think I'm going to play Wishclaw. Am I? I guess I have a Black Talisman and a Zagoth Triumph. If I play Wishclaw. I mean, I can use it to set things up. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll take the Wish Claw. I'll take Crop Rotation in, for the small chance that I end up with a, maybe like a Telerian Academy or something. All right, Helm of Awakening wield him to Turok, like, last pick. Uh, what a world. Well, Helm is still just really important for this deck, and if Salvato didn't take him the first two times he saw it, it's not that likely it's going to be good in his deck. Mm, I guess I'll hate the deranged hermit. Natural order didn't come back, by the way. Someone moved in. Maybe the person with Atroxa. All right, Black Lotus time. Is that a Black Lotus in there? No, that's a Fire Covenant. Uh, it's like a third of a Black Lotus. I think Lotus Petal is probably what I'm taking. I was really hoping to open Black Lotus or Br Underworld Breach. There's also a triplicate Titan to tinker for, but I'm the only person who could possibly want that. 
I don't think I want animate dead here. That's just not what I'm up to. And then there's like a talisman. Oh, there is a Narset. Hold on. No, with Wheel of Fortune and maybe another draw seven, this, I mean, it doesn't really matter with Jar because they don't really get to use the Jar cards anyway. But with Wheel of Fortune, I think I just take Narset here. I'm not going to wheel the Lotus Petal. This pack's not that strong, I don't think. Because there's just Anime Dead, Phantasmal Image will go. And then the rest, who knows. Oh, there's a Time Spiral. Yes, yes, yes. There's also a Balance, which would be awesome with the Zern Orb in this deck. But I feel like Time Spiral is much more what this deck's wanting to do. There's also Dak Faden. Balance isn't going to wheel right now. No, no way. Dak, Itali, someone who took Sneak. The Troxa person might also have Sneak instead. Though I guess, no, they're not the same person. Um, there's a Tali Dak, Ophiomancer. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what, what comes back. Oh, well, Ponder is great. I'm going to take Ponder over Reanimate. Very mastermind. Exploration wouldn't be crazy to play. All right. Three more picks. I, I really don't think Salvato is going to pass me Underworld Breach, even if he does see it, given that he, he passed me a Brain Freeze. Ponder, having Ponder Pro Brainstorm really does make this deck a lot more consistent. Because I can just play tons of islands. I mean, what non-blue cards do I have that I actually want to cast? Myst Mystic's Mastery, Oko, Wheel of Fortune. That's basically it. Uh, all right, so this pack has Tendrils, but I already have the Brain Freeze. Has Pentad Prism, which would be amazing, but I have all these Talismans. I think I'm going to take Sheldock. Sheldock is really busted, and I have Frantic Search and Time Spiral to untap it, even the same turn you play it. So, slamming Sheldock, and there's a decent chance we wheel Snap, which I would gladly play as well. I don't even know if I want this Pyretic Ritual, though I probably will play it. Anything to, like, speed you up a little bit is nice. That was pick four. We get two new pick packs still. And this is 28. I mean, we're already cutting a couple cards here. Oh, Ponder also makes Snapcaster better. I'm probably going to cut the Wish Claw. That's another card that requires mana. Pyretic Ritual, I'm dubious of. I, it's good with Humble Awakening. Turns it into a Dark Ritual. I think Xurnorb's got to be good enough, right? Yeah, it's a zero mana artifact that I can just sack to Tinker. And it, once I get Citadel going, it's good. And if you're casting a bunch of draw sevens, just having a zero for A, Storm Count, and B, this is going to buy you an, an extra turn when your opponent's attacking you. So... This is 16 land right now. It is rough trying to draft Storm without any pieces of power, but I, I kind of think we're, we're we're making a good attempt at it here. And we get two more packs, and one, two, three. Yeah, it's... No, nah, Pentad Prism's probably not going to wield, but I guess I'd be surprised if neither Snap nor Pentad Prism wield. And we'll, we'll find out, but I think that there's a pretty good chance of that. salvato has got two packs on him. Let's see. Let's see if he can hook me up here. I also have Sphinx of the Steel Wind if I want another Tinker target. Uh, what do we got here? Paradoxical Outcome's kind of interesting. I have two zeros only. Yeah, that's not going to be good enough in this deck. A green-white land does nothing for me. Imperial Seal could help assemble the combo. I might just take Fiery Confluence because I'm going to have a really hard time beating that card. I don't really care much for Shark Typhoon. I don't care about Foundry Inspector. Yeah, I just don't think Imperial Seal is that good. Let's just take that. This pack has Splinter Twin, which I'm not that into. Uh, iteration I am, though. Iteration is good. So the, our last pack was a little bit of... The last two packs were a little bit of a bust. Oh, Wheeling Lotus Petal is fantastic, though. Okay, okay. So now we even have to cut a couple more cards. That just means we're, we're drafting great. <laughs> so for Tinker, I'm getting either Jar or Citadel. Do I want, is it is it foolish not to have a Sphinx of the Steel Wind in the main deck as well? I have enough cheap Tinker things, right? I have three Zeros, three Talismans, a Helm, and an Oko. Yeah, that's plenty. Mm. Dak Faden came back? Okay, I will take Dak Faden. I think it's better than Brawl. That was good. I might even get Brawl back. There's five black cards in the pack. Hmm... <laughs> At this point, Pyretic Ritual might have to be cut. It's also possible that I want to cut Helm of Awakening. What's it good with? Well, it's pretty good with Frantic Search and Time Spiral. Obviously, it's good at setting up Brain Freeze. 
Yeah, we'll have to go to deck building. Pyritic ritual is hard to justify. Exploration, would I play it? See, the thing is, I, I think exploration would be really good in this deck, but my main issue is, am I gonna have access to reliable early green? I have no green, no, I have one green talisman and a Zagoth Triome, and I have this Oko that of course I do wanna play. The other option is to hate a Thunder Maw Hellkite or a Fairy Mastermind, which I'm not gonna play either. Nah, let's just take the Thunder Maw. Feels like the card I would die to. Oh, Pentad Prism did come back around. And Snap did not. Yeah, there's definitely someone who's high tide going high tide and... Well, not definitely, but it is pr possible someone is on high tide plus uh, Candelabra, Snap. I, I took the time for on Frantic Search, so those are much better. Would I play Paradoxical Outcome? I now have three zeros and Prism and Helm. Hmm, I still think the answer is probably no. I think I'm just going to take Imperial Seal, though I don't think I'm like super likely to want to play it. I guess I'll take Welder here. A red-green Talisman is is at least better than the, 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 the black one. All right. I'm, I'm really just trying to figure out how good these these Storm decks are. I don't know. I mean, there, there, it feels like there's a lot of combo potential here. Let's see how this one does. I, I do think it's a little easier when you open some Busted Man Acceleration, which I didn't. But I have a lot of good cards. I, I, oh, yeah, the Dream Halls is probably in that High Tide deck. Mm, we'll call this Powerless Storm. <laughs> We've lost power with our Storm. Uh, let's see. We are, we are, we are cooking here. Well, let them cook. Let them cook. Maybe after losing a bunch with the... Uh, with Storm, I'll go back to drafting white green mid range, but for right now, we're gonna let him cook. All right, so this is uh, 12 land. Well, probably gonna play more than 12 land. I think I can get away with 15 or 16 land. I kind of want to cut one of my talismans, and I think it's probably the green black one, because I just don't think I want to play Imperial Seal. I guess I'd have like three sources of it. I don't know. How good is Snapcaster Mage here? It's pretty good at doubling Brain Freeze, which is kind of the idea. Do I want the Sphinx? I kind of think no. I just don't think I'm going to get it very often. I'll just side it in if I want it. And I think Oko is still good. It's kind of hard to figure out what to cut, though. I have so many good cards. Because currently I'm playing 13 land. That's, again, obviously not like what's going to end up happening. Dak Faden with Mizzix Mastery is pretty nice. Spellseeker for Brain Freeze or one of the cantrips or Counterspell or Iteration is not bad. Same with Snapcaster. I want Tinker, I want Narset. It could be Helm of Awakening. It doesn't reduce the cost on that many of my spells. It's really only good with like, on like the Frantic Search Spiral turns, I think. I think the last cut... Like, I don't think it can be Bolus of Citadel or Jar. Clearly not. I could cut Mizzix Mastery and Inspired Ultimatum, but I think they're good. Also, I think Mastery with, like, Time Spiral, if you discard Time Spiral or it gets countered, you could do it. You could set up, like, turn four Frantic Search Time Spiral, right, off discarding it and casting Mizzix Mastery. I think that that's pretty decent. Mm. Could it be one of the Planeswalkers? I guess it... Could, in theory, be Dak Faden. It could be Oko, but I have a red, two green sources plus Lotus Petal. So I don't really need much in the way of green. And I don't think we any of these cards are that interesting. I think Pyretic Ritual is probably worse than Home Awakening in my Tinker deck. And I just don't think I need to, to play Imperial Seal. Like, why, why add extra mana to, to my deck? Mana requirements, that is. Technically, I can cast Inspired Ultimatum using Pentad Prism, Lion's Eye Diamond, in various convoluted ways. Mm. Yeah, I need to cut one more. I mean, there is also Counterspell. It's not completely crazy to cut Counterspell, but I don't think I should do that. Same with Expressive Iteration. And I think Zernorb is, is, has got enough utility here. God, is it 
It can't be Oko. No, it just can't be. It, it Could it be Spellseeker? I mean, getting Brain Freeze is good. Could it, be, it couldn't be Snapcaster. Could it be Iteration? Iteration seems so good in this deck, too. I don't think it can be another cheap artifact. I think I want the four. And I don't think it can be Ponder or Probe. Could it be Brainstorm? What do I have to shuffle? I have Shelldock effectively shuffles. I guess technically Ponder and Iteration do. Spellseeker does. Tinker kind of does. It is a combo with Wheel and Memory Jar. Oh, it's a pretty good combo. Yeah. Like, I'm comfortable going to 15 lands with the three Cantrip and the... Uh, the four two mana artifacts. So let's see. Four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, four, and then one. So this leaves me with seven, eight, nine, nine blue plus prism and talisman. So that's 11, 11 blue. Oh, and lotus petal if I need to. Four red plus petal and three talismans. Uh, that almost makes me want to play one one more island. And then Zagoth Triumph plus Forest is two, Petals three, Talismans four, Pentad Prism five green sources for Oko. Yeah, that's probably fine. And I just need to make an extremely painful cut. I think Narset with both Wheel of Fortune and Time Spiral is not cuttable. Uh, could it possibly be Dak Faden? No, at that point, I think Iteration's probably more cuttable than Dak. Could it possibly be a Red Talisman? I have six cheap artifacts for Tinker plus Oko. Plus Dak kind of is a cheap artifact for Tinker. I don't think I'm going to play 14 lands. I think 15 lands is probably, probably where we're at. Yeah, maybe it is Dak Faden. Discarding Ultimatum with Frantic Search or Wheel of Fortune seems pretty reasonable because I can also Snapcaster Mage Mizzix Mastery. Yeah. But Dak Narset's also cute. You plus one, they draw one card and discard two. Hmm. Both my teammates, let's see, one's playing White Red Aggro and the other's playing Sneak Reanimator. Okay, okay. Okay, that's fair. I'm just like stuck here. I just don't really know what the last card is. Could it be Zernorb? I don't think so. The combo of Citadel seems pretty real. A zero mana to Tinker, so you could just turn three, just goes orb, orb Tinker immediately seems pretty real. Maybe Expressive Iteration, because you need red for Iteration, and it's an early play, whereas DAC at least is good even later. And these are all red, right? All seven red sources off that, eight, yeah. All right, that that's a tough one. I don't really know. That was me brain freezing someone out. It does happen. Hopefully it'll happen again. Mm, let's see. All right. I think this is where we're at. I think this is where we're at. We'll see how this turns out. Alrighty. Time for round one. Playing against the champ, Nathan Stoyer. And this hand is totally reasonable. I'm going to lead on Zagoth Triome here. Because this way I'll have up turn two counterspell and the possibility of turn three Oko. And then I can just ponder later. I don't need to hit a land drop. It's not like a race to cast your spells. Mm, some point I'll counter something. Let's just do this. Actually, let's ponder here. I want to save Brainstorm. Ooh, I don't mind that. Mm, I want to play Sheldock next turn. Let's go... Pass with Counterspell up, and then next turn I can just play Sheldock. And at some point I can fire off Wheel of Fortune. Also, this guarantees the Spellseeker will be under the Sheldock if that's what I want. Okay, no plays, no plays. Or, alternately, I could Brainstorm put two cards back and then shell dock. And then I definitely have like a brain freeze under the shell dock and try to set up a wheel of fortune. I kind of like that. Let's cast brainstorm. Let's go. 
island, brain freeze, place shell dock isle. Yeah, let's put brain freeze under the shell dock, which is a little dangerous if he has a wasteland, but I don't know how likely that is, and I think the payoff is very high. Because I'm pretty close to having enough to oh, definitely counter the spelling mentor. Mentor is a, a fast clock. We don't like that. Okay. You got a spell pierce. Uh, it's five cards in hand. So looking at my deck, nothing that I really want a spell seeker for. Mountain, Lotus Petal. Just cast Wheel of Fortune here, or try to. Okay. Storm count is two. He has 21 cards left. Oh, I think I can, I think I can win here. Lion's Eye. Zurin Orb. And now, huh, do I lose to Force of Negation? I mean, it's not great for me if he's got Force of Negation, because what I'm planning on doing is casting Snapcaster in response, casting Brainstorm. So it'd be five, Brainstorm be six, and then sacking, uh, yeah, I think that's what I do, and then sack the, the LED to pay for this. And then sack this for blue, and then cast Brain Freeze targeting you. And enough mana left to uh, flash back the Brain Freeze here. And if he's got Force of Negation, I don't love it, because he can force the Brain Freeze and he will get milled for 15. In that case, I'll Snapcaster and do something else. Oh, we got the dub. All right. Mm, let my team know. That was, a, that was a clean little turn five win through a, through a spell pierce. So playing against Nathan, he's going to play a little defensively. What can I do to make that better? That actually is where expressive iteration comes in. And I think I want to put in another mountain in that case. Dak Faden just seems okay. He's got Fallen Shinobi, Spell Pierce, Balance, Mentor. Probably has a Force of Negation in his deck. I wonder if I should at that point cut Spell Seeker because the only one I care about is Brain Freeze. I'm just looking at cards I can cast when we're, we're, we're kind of draw going, and Expressive Iteration falls into that category for sure. But Spellseeker picking up Brain Freeze and setting, setting up a, a combo is also nice. Maybe maybe here is actually where I just cut the Zuran Orb. I think that uh, it doesn't look like a race too much. It's not like he's going to be beating me down. And I wanted to, and Zuran Orb is the kind of card that is a little weak when you're playing an attrition game, which I think this is going to end up being. I could also consider Fiery Confluence to, to fight Monastery Mentor, but I don't think that that's where I want to be. Okay. This hand's nice. I will keep this. Let's see what he's got. No, let's literally see what he's got. Uh, I think I'm going to start by probing. You're going to daze me? You're going to spell pierce? All right. Uh, play a land and... I think turn two, I think turn two, I'm gonna brainstorm and then ponder because that combination can let you shuffle away some cards you don't want. This, yeah, if he dazes this, he dazes this. Okay. Oh, mana leak, sure. It's just going after my cantrips. I got more where that came from. Talisman of Impulse, Zagoth Triumph. This is my turn two, Spellseeker. Okay, I'm definitely going to keep this. I could technically Oko next turn by going City of Traitors, Talisman. That seems pretty good. Alternately, I can go Talisman, Zagoth Triumph. Yeah, maybe that's better, though. 
Okay, pass the turn. The reason is, if he has mana up, I really don't want to get my Oko spell pierced. Though he probably wouldn't have spell pierced if he if he had. Uh, he wouldn't have mana leaked if he had spell pierce in hand, is my guess. Okay, am I going to get countered again? Mana drain. Okay. Well, hopefully this isn't anything too fearsome. If he has to tap out, then at least I can maybe Oko this thing. Unless it's like a factor fiction or something. Hopefully it's not like a mind twist. That would be bad. Oh, a Murktide Regent. It's unfortunate that Okoing it doesn't really solve the problem. And this is where I wish I had Snap. I would definitely spell Seeker for Snap right now. Uh, so in that case, Oko becomes less appealing. How how far? Like I can Oko and Elk it and make it a 3-3 three, three with three plus one plus one counters, which is a 6-6. Six, six. I'm at 18. There's two cards in hand. Let's go... I could spell Seeker for Brain Freeze now. That's just going to take too long to set up. Let's go Snapcaster Mage. And I think we Snapcast Ponder here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Shuffle, Draw. All right, play a line and say Go. Next turn, if I want, I can... I'm going to take six. Hopefully it doesn't have too much more. Rona. Eh, okay, that's not too bad. There's Brain Freeze. So I think what I might do is play the City of Traders this turn, because I'm going to play Oko. Elk, the Murktide, so it loses flying. Play Spellseeker as another Chump Blocker. And the funny thing is, I think now, despite having no red, I get iteration. I've drawn a lot of cards this game, and he, I mean, he, he has a lot of counters. Spell Pierce, Mana Leak, Mana Drain. Oh, duh, of course, he's going to have Spell Pierce. That was the first card he used. Do I want Counter Spell or do I want Iteration? I actually think I still want Iteration. No attacks here. He might actually flip Rona into a 5 5. That wouldn't be a crazy play. Yeah, that's what it looks like he's doing. Okay, so it becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Attack me and attack Oko. Chump that, I'll let Oko go. I don't think I don't think it really makes sense. Also, chumping Rona lets him cast something. Okay, so that lets me cast iteration. Okay, okay. Iteration. Poof. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll play this. And then I could mill him for nine. I guess that's worth doing, because if I draw Wheel of Fortune or something, I'll do that. And then next turn, I'm going to chump the uh, Merc Tide, go to six, and hope to draw a draw seven. All right. Yeah, I mean, he had Counterspell, Counterspell, Counterspell into two five fives or whatever. So, that was a good start. I mean, my draw was good, too. I had a lot, had a lot of action. All right, draw. Hmm, not enough. I am playing 15 lands, right? <laughs> All right, going to game three here. Yeah, I mean, I do like iteration in this build. Don't think I want any of these other things. Yeah, all right. Tinker is obviously a little bit dicey against all the counter spells, but I, that's just that's what my deck is. My deck, I don't think can can do otherwise. I don't think I'm supposed to put Sphinx of the Steel Wind in here. I don't think that's going to be a a winning play. Is it possible Dak Faden's not good? He didn't play any artifacts. Like, is it possible I want Zern Orb instead of Dak Faden for Citadel purposes? No, I think Dak Faden discarding Inspired Ultimatum is going to be better. This matchup is hard, though. Uh, he just has a lot of counter spells, so I just need to either have a fast draw or grind him out of counters. I mean, my deck does have a lot of card selection. Okay, I mean, this is the kind of hand that can 
can definitely win. I hope that this talisman doesn't get countered, but I guess, look, if the talisman gets countered, then the Oko is less likely to. If they both get countered, well, I guess I hope I draw a zero mana artifact. Oh, that's a zero mana artifact. All right, let's play Talisman of Impulse. No counter, okay. I think I lead with Oko over Tinker. Oh, well, now that he has done that, he doesn't have Spell Pierce up? No, he does have Spell Pierce up. Here we are, huh? Yeah. I think what I do is I think I just go Oko first. In case he has Force of Negation. No, I'm going to make a food token now. And now I pass. The, the reason is, if I resolve Oko, he's got to tap out for something. He just can't leave counters up. And then hopefully I resolve Tinker. That's the theory, at least. I could also draw a counter spell, which I wouldn't mind. Okay, let's just do this. I'm probably just gonna, oh man, do I play? I can't play Jar here, not into Mana Drain. Hopefully he doesn't have Vendillion Click, that would be pretty annoying. Don't recall seeing one. Oh, Thirst, sure. Getting the second black, interesting. Could it be hemming me? No, I passed the him to Salvato. At least I'm fairly sure. Maybe I passed the other direction. Him would be pretty annoying, but I guess I would hope it hits Brain Freeze. The other thing about him is next turn, I'm probably just going to animate Lotus Petal and attack for six. So if his if his next play is to leave up him is to cast him to Turok, I'm not that worried. Discarded Fallen Shinobi and Creeping Tar Pit. Okay, okay. He might have like Monastery Mentor into Snuff Out. That's like a way to stabilize here. Mm, let's see. Oh, Reanimate Fallen Shinobi? Okay. That's not the end of the world. And then cast... Is a Metamorph or something? Because right now, if you just reanimate Fallen Shinobi, I just Elk the Fallen Shinobi. Oh, and then cast a Merc Tide as a 6-6. Six, six. Okay. Well, let's cast Tinker, huh? Uh, Tinker. Sacking Talisman. Okay, didn't have Force of Negation. Let's get Bolus' Citadel. Ooh, let's hold down Control. Let's cast Spellseeker. You may search your library. Do I want to search? I think I do, because I think at this point I'm just going to try to storm him out. I don't need time spiral. Yes, let's get Gitaxian Probe. Uh, do I want to play Sheldock? Yeah, I think so. Nothing to play. It even clears a mountain here. Let's get Wheel of Fortune under there. Now I probe you paying the life to draw the mountain, the island off the top. I mean, he can't have Force of Negation, right? His hand is Spell Pierce, Karn, Fractured Identity. Uh, yeah, I should be able to win pretty easily here, unless he's got a way to stop Brain Freeze. Brainstorm. Um, I'm at 15. Let's put back, I take... 10 and go to 3. Yeah, let's put back Inspired Ultimatum Memory Jar. Cast Jar, go to 10. Target player gains 5 life. Then deal 5 to any target. I go to 3. And I draw 5 cards. I have enough to brain freeze you for a lot, but what else can we do here first? I guess I actually can't play Frantic Search. So I can Brain Freeze for 21, which is not quite enough, but I have Jar, so I guess I just... And I have 15 cards left? All right, I guess I just do it that, that way. Brain Freeze you. And I hopefully didn't slide in an Ulamog. Because I have a Memory Jar ready to crack and mill for another uh, another 7 here. 
<laughs> That'll do it. 1-0, beat the champ, and uh, we're on to round two with a win in our belt. Alrighty, time for round two. Playing against Luis Salvato, playing blue-white, resto, smugglers, copter, reprieve, suspicious stowaway, that sort of thing. This deck, or this hand has mastery ultimatum, which is a nice combo. Let's see. Turn one stowaway is tough. Okay. I think I'm probably just going to cast turn one brainstorm so this thing doesn't flip. Fortunately, none of my signets are green here. So I don't get to cast Oko that easily, but I'll still just go Talisman into Talisman. It's kind of the plan, and to Snapcaster Brainstorm maybe. Okay. Discarded the Kitchen Finks. That makes sense. He knows what he's playing against. And I guess I'll, he'll get... He'll get one turn of the double draw off of the, the, or the draw without a discard here off the werewolf. Oh man, that makes my brainstorm a lot worse. This is a nice combo, a werewolf plus a flash creature. All right, I take four down to 15. And that brainstorm wasn't the best. Okay, that's going to get revoked. Which actually leads me in a spot where I can't Snapcaster cheese. This this was a start. I guess I can play City of Traders. Yeah, I don't really like it, but I'm gonna do this. Snapcaster. He's even he's even gonna get to draw a card off the fairy mastermind. Fourteen, yeah, alright. That was just a beating. Uh, not much I could do there. Do I want like Thundermaw, Hellkite, or Fiery Confluence? I could side in. So if I put in the two mountains, take out Island Island, because I still have a lot of blue, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, maybe, maybe I just do one mountain, but then I play Iteration, Hellkite, Fiery Confluence. Probably take out Xurnor, but at that point I kind of have to. Do I want to take out Mastery? No, I don't think so, especially since I'm boarding in Fiery Confluence. Um, I could take out Dak Faden. Just Planeswalkers in general are going to be a little weaker against all his creatures. If I have to cut one more card. Could be Talisman. Yeah, I could see. No, I cut the Zerner, but I don't want to cut too many cheap artifacts. Maybe I just don't play the Thundermon. I just play the Fiery Confluence. Man, maybe that works better. All right. I guess I'm not really going to win races with Thundermon Hellkite. I would like to play first. Okay, this is a good hand. I'm going to kick things off with a Ponder here. Turn one Ponder, turn two Talisman, and then I can go turn three Iteration. All right. Ponder, oh, I will shuffle that away. Yeah, and then turn two talisman. Okay. <clears throat> Pass the turn. Okay, so not the fastest draw. Well, copter's good. So let's just go expressive iteration to start here. <laughs> well, I guess I'm clearing some lands off. Uh, yeah, island in hand, island on the mountain on the bottom, remove island, play island. Next turn I can snapcaster the expressive iteration, that's pretty good value at least, and then play a shelllock isle if I don't play a land off iteration. Oh, all my hopes and dreams gone. I might just snapcaster ponder, especially since uh, getting to snapcaster ponder means I get to also play Sheldock that turn. The other alternative is just play Sheldock and say go. That doesn't seem very good. This matchup seems like it could be tough. Oh, there's a brainstorm. Actually, let's let's just go brainstorm here. Put two islands back. Play a land and then play Narset and then minus the Narset to shuffle those away. Oh, and pick up Fiery Confluence. So he knows it's coming, but it can kill... Uh, Copter and Loran pretty nicely. 
Trinket Mage. I hope this means he doesn't have a Counterspell. What are we trinketing for? Mox Pearl? Oh man, I feel like I'm going to get reprieved here. I have that feeling. Oh, no, he's just moving all in. Oh, he has the... Does he have the Force of Negation? It got all the way to him? I can't really imagine that's a play unless... Uh, Ooh, I hope he I hope he loots with a thing. No, he did not. <laughs> Alright, I mean I guess I'll go for it. Uh, I'm at fifteen. Two destroy artifacts, one destroy a creature, so this can't work, right? Uh Okay. That works for me. I did really didn't think that was going to happen. I chose to destroy Pearl instead of Trinket Mage because I'm at 15 still and I have a Snapcaster to block. Oh, I see. He had Sarah Paragon, so he just figured he could rebuild. Sure, that makes sense. All right, now... So I can easily activate Shelldock. And I have Frantic Search. I might actually be able to do something here. Let's see. I have five mana at the start of the turn. Frantic Search, untap Shelldock. Yeah, let's start by playing Shelldock Isle, seeing what we hit. Wheel of Fortune, okay. So if I go Frantic Search, I'll have five mana left still. <clears throat> and then I get to Wheel, go down to three mana. So if I go Frantic Search, Brain Freeze you, Wheel in response, Brain Freeze you, that's 16 cards. That's pretty far away. But if I just play Memory Jar this turn, or actually, yeah, what if I just play Memory Jar this turn? And, oh, he's got the lore in. But what I could do is he taps three mana to cast lore in, and I just crack Jar, and then next turn, Brain Freeze Wheel is like very lethal. Extremely lethal, even. Yeah, that could be decent. I could have also gone Spellseeker for Counterspell and just passed with that up. But just by minus sevening both of us, it makes it a lot easier to just brain freeze him out next turn. And he gets to draw some cards he can play, but that's not really the end of the world. Okay. And I go down to these, yeah, all right, crack jar. He gets a fresh hand of seven, attacks me down to eight. And then I draw uh -huh, time spiral, huh? So now land, I have seven mana. If I cast frantic search, one spell, Wheel of Fortune, two spells. Frank Search is free. Cast Wheel. Cast Brain Freeze. I have 13 cards left. Brain Freeze is the third spell. So that mills him for nine down to eight. And then Wheel puts him down to one. Is my Lotus Petal gone? It's not. Let's just start by casting Frantic Search. See what he does. Because the card I'm playing right now is Reprieve. Okay, he lets Frantic Search happen. Discard Ultimatum. And I already played a land this turn, right? Yeah. Untap those. So one Storm Count, two Storm Count, three Storm Count. So if he reprieves the wheel, gets milled for nine, down to eight cards, draws off Reprieve, and goes to one. Yeah, I guess that's probably what I want to do here. Cast Wheel of Fortune. In response, Brain Freeze you. And if he's got a hard counter or... But Nathan has like all the counters. Or has like two things, then yeah, I might lose. But the, the draw from Reprieve puts him to exactly uh, seven cards in deck. So in middle... Okay, he's going to Reprieve one of the Brain Freeze copies. Okay... And mill down to 10. And then wheel happens. 
and I draw Lotus Petal Mizzix Mastery. That's what I was hoping to find. <laughs> uh, I'll cast that on Brain Freeze. I didn't have that many cards left in my deck, so it was fairly likely to happen, somewhat likely. And then Brain Freeze you out. And I have four cards left, so I can't get milled out. Mill you. Discarding Teferi, Fairy Mastermind, all that stuff. All right. Clean game three here. Fiery Confluence did a good job. Hey, he got to rebuild with Sarah Paragon, but this was still more than enough to, to, to give me the time here. Uh, Dak Faden against Smuggler's Copter and Mox Pearl. Maybe it's foolish to not have Dak Faden. I wonder if there's no way that... No, Tinker for Sphinx of the Steel Wind is a terrible idea. Is Tinker Citadel bad? He has Loran, but you can win the turn you play it a good amount of the time. Don't think Tinker for Cauldra Complete is a good idea either. Going down to 14 lands, probably not necessary. Mm, iteration's good. Prism's good. It's possible that Narset actually is is a little weaker than Dak. Dak stealing a Smuggler's Copter is a pretty strong play, even if it's just like a three mana kill your copter play. And if I can Dak a Mox, that would be pretty good too. All right, we're trying this. Plus Dak plus one if he doesn't have four power in play. Like let's say he has two or three. Discard an ultimatum or something, or set up set up something for next turn. Okay, any turn two tinkers? When I have Zern Orb in the deck, technically I can turn one tinker. Uh, hmm. This hand's kind of slow. Yeah, I think I just mulligan that hand. This hand's a lot better. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna put Memory Jar back. No, I'm gonna put Snapcaster. Yeah, I think I put Snap. I think I want Snapcaster in my deck for late game and also no Pearl, please. Yeah. Um, I don't really want to lead on City of Traders turn one. I can do, turn two, I can go City of Traders, Talisman, Pentad Prism, and I think that's fine. Okay, there's the Copter. Okay, oh, then I drew a mountain. So why don't I instead... What do I want to get Lorand? I guess I would rather the Pentad Prism get Lorand. Also, City of Traders can cast Talisman. And if he plays Lorand this turn, then I can use the Prism for Blue to Brainstorm. A walking Blister for one. Oh, that is not too scary. I mean, it crews the Copter. Obviously, Copter is ridiculous. That it's crew one. But, uh, what up, Dog? That's a lot less scary than some of the plays he could make. All right. Let's see. Discard Sun Titan. Oh, I'm going to play Sheldock. Do I want to brainstorm first? Yeah, I think... Knowing that I have Memory Jar under Sheldock is pretty nice. Who knows, maybe I could draw Dak Faden here. I would, I would take that Smuggler's Copter. Uh, okay, well, let's put back Island, Memory Jar, play Sheldock. Put Sheldock under Jar. Yeah, brain freeze under under shell duck. No, no, I want I want the jar. Then play talisman, and then next turn, I can go city of traders wheel of fortune because we're getting to the point where uh, I don't mind playing city of traders. All right, and then this gets to be the most mana in play. Hopefully, what am I hoping? He taps out for something that's not too big. Oh, no land would be excellent here. I mean, it's a little less likely given that he's coptering. So I got a 13, so I'm, I'm taking damage but not dying, like super quick. All right, he's definitely gonna make a land drop now. Okay, and pass. 
Oh, Revoker. Okay, what are we naming? Talisman is a uh, multi-use. Pentad Prism, on the other hand, yeah, adds blue. He named Talisman, sure. So the Revoker is unfortunate because that was a two a two mana Stone Rain that has two power. So now next turn he's attacking for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay, never mind. I am dying pretty fast. I'm definitely gonna want to cast Wheel of Fortune here, unless I draw Fiery Confluence. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, mountain, destroy target artifact. Guess I do one damage, two damage to my opponent because he's tapped out. Yeah. And there's no way to get Smuggler's Copter off the board or anything, so yeah. Fiery Confluence was a pretty good sideboard card. Now I, I'm, I'm a little less sure about me wheeling because he's got no cards in hand. He's got one card in hand. Okay. Boom. You are all done. All right, pass the turn. I mean, I might still do it, especially if he taps out, because there's a pretty decent chance that I can go off next turn. But we'll see. We'll see. If he doesn't play anything here, I kind of want to just draw go a little bit, just play out lands, because I'm not taking any damage. I guess end of turn Restoration Angel is kind of the fear. Okay, draw. Huh. Bolus is Citadel. Um, just an island go here. Bolus of Citadel is not a fantastic draw. The Tinker in my deck is now basically dead. Okay, no, no Resto. Good, good, good. And no Fairy Mastermind. If I don't draw something next turn, I'm probably going to just... I'm just going to fire. Okay, now I'm firing off Wheel of Fortune. That's fine. Plus Teferi, because now he's on two cards. Next turn he's going to be on four cards after drawing off Teferi. So, yeah, he's going to have a play next turn. So now we fire off. Oh, Lotus Petal. Great draw. City of Traders. Wheel of Fortune here. Okay, he had the Reprieve. And we'll cast it again. Reprieve's annoying, but it does mean that there's been some uh, some spells cast. Uh, Storm count four. <sighs> Unfortunately, I can't brain freeze this turn. I'm at 12. I could ponder shuffle, because I can't spell seeker brain freeze here, because that's five mana. I could ponder shuffle then draw off Probe, and then Crack Jar, but then I still wouldn't be able to Brain Freeze this turn. I could just pass the turn, save my spells for next turn, and play an end of turn Memory Jar. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I don't. I hope he doesn't have like Armageddon or something, but I haven't seen that. And uh, I think the end of turn Jar is gonna be pretty strong. So he draws a card. Really the only counter magic we've seen is Reprieve. And if he plays some creatures this turn, that's totally fine with me. Lauren of the Third Path, okay. Blow up Talisman, sure. I have like a lot of mana. I'm really not that worried. Skyclave. Get the Pentad Prism. I guess getting Lotus Petals. Well, I don't know. Yeah, sure. Uh, sack it for blue. Why not? Okay, no plays. End of turn, Teferi untaps. Let's just go cast Memory Jar. Draw. I know my Brain Freeze is on the bottom from Sheldock. I haven't uh, shuffled since then. So I'm going to... Well, I guess I don't even need to kick things off. I have a Spell Seeker. Is he a Brazen Borrower or something? I guess we'll find out. I'm at 12. All right, let's go. Gataxian Probe, go down to 10. It's his cards. Steel Seraf, okay, he has nothing, so Storm Count 1, yeah, this is going to be trivially easy to win with. I have 3 blue, 4 blue, let's just play that. Tap this for blue. I mean, I'm all in on Brain Freeze winning me the game and him not having uh, 
any sort of uh, reshuffle effect. So, talisman, brain freeze you for 15 or whatever, and then crack jar. All right, let's hope he doesn't have a shuffle. Boom, there we go. 2-0, and uh, we even get to see basically his whole deck here, so that is pretty nice as well. All right, it's on to round three. Alrighty, time for round three. Playing against the Natural Order Atroxa one ring deck, which I think is generally a pretty good matchup. <sighs> what about this hand? I actually think I keep this because if I draw a blue source, I get to Frantic Search. And if I draw a Talisman, especially a blue one, this hand becomes the nuts. My opponent's deck does have Strip Mine. Yeah, that is part of my fear, but it's not like mulliganing against a Strip Mine is going <laughs> to improve matters. So as long as it doesn't recur it very quickly, he does have Crucible, but it's going to be a few turns unless he has Acceleration. Okay, so now next turn, I've got... I'm probably just going to fire off Frantic Search main phase and look for uh, an artifact. If I find like a zero drop artifact, oh, or this. All right, let's go Pentad Prism for two. And then let's just tinker it away right now. One, two, sack that. Come on, Citadel, hit, hit, hit. No. No. Oh, I know what's going to happen here. He's got uh, Vindicate and Knight of Autumn in deck. So I don't feel good about this at all. And Beseju. Oh. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Don't Beseju me. All right. Let's get the Zagoth Triome. And now I have to draw City of Traitors. Because I have Frantic Search. Oh man, Bolus is Citadel. How disappointing. Oh, interesting. Let's discard Brain Freeze. I think I discard Brain Freeze and I'm going to get double strip mine next turn. Because I'm trying to think what I do this turn. I could re I could tinker again this turn. I guess I discard Spellseeker. I go, because I go. Sna untap these three lands, Snapcaster, Tinker, Sacking, Xuronorb. I get Memory Jar. You know what? Maybe I do that and I just keep... I discard Time Spiral because there's no way for me to cast Time Spiral anymore. Now that I get Strip Mine down to three lands... Oh, I can Mizzix Mastery the Time Spiral? That's, pro so that's probably my most likely path to victory. Okay, so let's discard Brain Freeze, Spell Seeker. Untap three lands, play a land... Play a Zernorb. Play a Snapcaster Mage. Oh, I was supposed to discard the Time Spiral. Oh, let's do this. Let's get a Memory Jar. And let's pass the turn. At the very minimum, I'm getting double strip mined here. Yeah, I'm supposed to have a Brain Freeze in hand. I th no, I guess I'm supposed to have Spell Seeker in hand. I don't know. I'm drawing pretty slim regardless here, but I've also, oh, I guess Lion's Eye Diamond's actually a big part of my outs too. Hmm. Forest, sure. I mean, okay, what is, oh, Talisman of Progress, okay. Draw, actually, let's just cast Wheel of Fortune here. We can keep the jar around. Mm, probe. Well, you know what? I don't think it even helps to probe like that. Let's just probe like that. I don't have very many ones in my deck. Oh, Brainstorm. <laughs> that was a one. Uh, it's not even bother attacking. All right, pass. So discarded all lands. To the wheel. Oh, this is fine, actually. This is fine, yeah. Okay, so now... All right, what's in his hand? 
The One Ring Grim Monolith Nissa. Oh, Fast Bond with Crucible? Oh. Oh, all right, that's game. He didn't even have the Fast Bond at the start of the turn. Uh, all right. I don't think I can even board in Sphinx. He's got Swords to Plowshares. That's just, the Sphinx plan just doesn't work that well, honestly. I'm not going to board in Fiery Confluence to kill Crucible. That is just not the way to, to play that. I'm keeping Zern Orb here because I, I just kind of need to go fast. I almost want Pyretic Ritual as well. Dak Faden can steal. How is my deck 41 with a Dak Faden? I must have loaded an old version. Uh, Dak. Oh, no, I ended up playing the deck. What am I saying? Uh, Dak Faden can steal the Crucible or a Talisman. Yeah, maybe I want both those. Maybe No, Narset seems okay because he doesn't have a lot of creatures attacking the Narset at the moment. Counterspell's fine. Jar. Mm, maybe, maybe, yeah, Pyretic Ritual seems okay. I just needed a hit on Bolas' Citadel in my 15 land deck. I just missed completely. Like, that was a kind of close-ish game in the sense that I was, I, I almost got something set up. Imagine I hit two or three spells before hitting the land, but no, I just had to be land. Uh... Yeah, against Strip Mine, I, I kind of do like. Well, what does it cast? It casts Mizzix Mastery or Memory Jar. I guess it does cast help cast Time Spiral. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, it seems so wrong to take out Spellseeker. Yeah. Can I take out Oko? Well, if I take out Oko, I also get to take out Forest and just put in another Mountain. Yeah, I like that. That's better. I. I just don't think I'm going to win a fair game here. Okay, so this hand has Sheldock, which is not at its best against Strip Mine. Snapcaster, it has Citadel in hand, Mastery. I think I can mulligan that. Okay, I'll keep this. What do I want to put back is the question. I think I put Mizzix Mastery back. You know what? No, I'm putting Counterspell back. I'm just be tapping out every turn. That's what I'm going to do. Because look, m with Dak in hand, I kind of like Mizzix Mastery. So I'd rather just play a Talisman this turn. And then next turn, I can play a Narset and plus Narset, and then, or minus Narset. And then if I find ultimatum or time spiral, DAC mastery can kind of help get it going. I hope his turn two play isn't too sick. Okay. Setting up for turn three, I guess. Could be like a Nissa or something. He has natural order two. All right, draw. That's pretty medium. Land, Narset leaving Talisman up. Minus Narset. Hit Probe. All right, let's Probe, paying the life. Let's see what's coming. Omnath, Grim Monolith, and Lands? Okay. Okay, that's not so bad. And the Lands don't include Strip Mine. So you sack Sakura Tribe Elder end of turn. Oh, I guess... I guess not. You want to save, because you can just play Sacred Foundry Omnath, and then next turn you can make lots of mana with Omnath. The good thing is you don't draw a card off Omnath. Okay, so he's just going to play Grim Monolith instead. What did he draw? He drew the Nyssa? Oh, Theo, you're killing me here. Both games, like, just the, the card, I probe, and then the, the best card is on top. All right. So now... Now I lose my Narset, and I don't get to use it. Yeah. Okay, Snapcaster Mage. That's not so bad. I could... I could Dak and draw, and then see what I draw, or I could Snapcaster Probe first. And then the reason to do that is it gives me a better selection of what to discard. I kind of like that. I'm going to dismiss that because I'm about to see it again here. Probe you. Draw a lion's eye is not bad. All right, land, deck. Okay, plus deck on me. Draw some big spells. That's a big spell. That is a big spell. Uh, let's discard ultimatum and memory jar. 
All right, I'm actually looking pretty good now because next turn, I mean, assuming he doesn't peel like a mind twist or something, then I get to lose Dak, but I don't take any damage if, if that's what he wants to do because he can Nissa make a land. I mean, he has access to a million mana and he gets to maybe draw a card off Fiery Highlight if he wants. But if he wants to kill Dak, he has to attack it with a 3 3, a 3 3, and then a 1 1. Okay. He drew the one ring? <sighs> All right. Is that good? I guess he still gets to kill Dak, unfortunately, so I can't steal the one ring. Mm. I'm going to get to kill Nissa. No, these have Vigilance, of course. Um, they all attack Dak. Yeah. So there's no point in blocking. Well, it means I can't brain freeze him out this turn. But let's see. Oh. I'm at 14. Man, the one ring actually the protection actually matters. I would be able to win this turn. I, I this is this is rough. <laughs> so what I think I might do then is set up to, for, to try to win next turn. So let's just ultimate him here. Cast this. I'll gain five life. I think I just deal five to to the forest. I don't think it makes sense to deal five to Nissa. Are you gonna untap Grim Monolith? Sure. And I draw five cards, which is nice. Wow, I'd really be able to easily brain freeze you out this turn. <laughs> the funny thing is I didn't draw a land. Uh, I guess I have to discard, so let's just play Zurin Orb. <sighs> so, yeah, I mean, as long as Theo doesn't draw Mind Twist here, I think I'm actually still going to win. Two top decks in a row might not be enough. Let's just keep the Snapcaster back. Because I have enough to pretty easily Brain Freeze you out next turn. Because this is, just with these cards alone, Brain Freeze for 21. Not counting Bolas' Citadel. Of course, I'm probably going to get Mind Twisted here. But <laughs> if that's not the case, that's not the case. We'll see. Uh, Sylvan Library is a good start, because I feel like if you had Mind Twist, you wouldn't play Sylvan Library, but maybe not. Maybe they just want to do this. Uh, I will, I guess, block. All my Planeswalkers are gone. Don't care. Okay, here comes Oka, or Omnath, rather. Okay. Please don't Mind Twist me. Because otherwise I have, I would say, a fairly easy kill. Because even if I, worst case scenario, draw... Oh, that does not look like Mind Twist. Worst case scenario is I draw uh, Bolus of Citadel on my turn. Rex Sage on my Talisman. Yeah, that's fine with me. Or the Zurin Orb, I guess. But even if I, even if I draw Citadel on my turn, I still get to... To Nug for 21. Okay, that was not drawing Citadel, so let's go Pentad Prism. Mm. Tap this for colorless, tap this for red. Ritual. Talisman. Tinker. Oh, do we have Force of Vigor? I mean, I guess if so, if so. Uh, do I want to play Lion's Eye? I don't think so. Let's go blue, tap, tinker, sacking, prism. Citadel. Hold on, control, ponder, in case I draw an instant. All right, ponder. And now, if he does have Force of Vigor here, oh, shuffle, draw. Uh, play my mountain. It's funny because, like, even after a ponder, I still managed to break on Citadel. <laughs> uh, and then Brain Freeze you for 24. Yeah, if you've got an Eldrazi, I can't beat it anyway. Okay, okay. 
a lot of a lot of stuff had to happen that game. His deck is just goes over the top of Oko so hard with like Nissas and Omnaths and stuff. I just am not gonna play that. I think I just submit as is. The only other thing is maybe I want a Helm of Awakening, but nah. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right, on the draw here, my buddy's ready for a nice turn two tinker. We'll see. Ooh, all right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep this hand. It's a one lander, but I've got the brainstorm. No, 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 no. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, well, let's start with a ponder, I guess. Pentad Prism, Tap Land. I'm gonna shuffle. I <laughs> still drew the prism. There's a lot that could go wrong here. Just Crucible strip me out. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, Talisman attack. All right, not so bad. Well, <laughs> these are the cards I shuffled away. All right, let's play the Zagoth Triumph. I don't think I play Lotus Petal here. Even with Mind Twist, I just don't want to uh, put a target for Rexage out. Oh, here goes Atroxa. Okay. Let's see what you got. Oh, must have a Troxa in hand. I, I would imagine. Okay, so we're getting strip mine here, which I don't like. I think I'm gonna go end of turn brainstorm. And hopefully find Tinker. No Dak Faden though. How do I want to do this? I guess I just wanna play Dak Faden next turn and steal the talisman. And hope I don't get crucible stripped. Land. Dak Faden. Steel Talisman. Pass the turn. And I'm going to get my Zagoth Triumph strip mined. Also, I guess without Oko, I don't think the Zagoth Triumph even does that much. Ah, well. There we go. All right, this matchup felt like a close one. He had a fast fast draws. He had the Crucible Strip two of the three games. Um, I think if he hadn't drawn Fastball in game one, I had a pretty good shot. And then uh, this game, if he just was missing one of these pieces, I think I would be able to do some cool stuff. But finished two and three, and uh, my teammates went 0-6, so <laughs> go team. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching. This deck was fun. It played out pretty well. And I beat, I think, some pretty tough matchups. So got us the 2-1, even if it wasn't quite enough. Next time, well, next time we'll see what next time brings. But uh, this was a pretty nice aggressive deck, and I did enjoy playing it. Or rather, aggressive combo deck, all in on the combo. And I like the mastery ultimatum stuff as well. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>